Hey everyone, Nitesh this side. Hope you're doing well. So let's start with your question. The question is baseball game. Okay, so what you have to do, you are, you are keeping a score for baseball game with strange rules. Okay, the game consists of several rounds where the score of past round may affect future round scores. At the beginning of the game, you start with an empty record. Okay, and you are given a list of strings ops where ops i is the ith operation you must apply to the record and is one of the following okay so you are given an operation array and it's a basically string type of array and there are some operation which you have to perform so let's see like if an an integer x record a new score of x okay if plus is there so you have to do record a new score that is the sum of previous two score and it is always guaranteed that there will be always be two previous score okay d stands for you have to record a new score that is double the previous score it is guaranteed that there will all so there will be a previous value in this case also c basically uh, invalidated previous score removing it from the record okay you have to remove it from the record and for this it is also guaranteed that there will be previous score but you have to return you have to return the sum of all the score on the record okay so let's see this example so this is an integer x which we will take it so let's say we are taking a list so we will take this five here then second comes so second will also take it okay now after this c will come so c stand for removing the previous entry basically that is inserted so two is the last that is inserted so we will remove this from the list so two will be removed so final will be this okay then d d basically what you have to do you have to double the previous entry entry basically the previous entry will be remain there and you have to add a new entry with a double record of that double uh, score of that so this will be five remaining at as it is and you have to do the double of this so this will become 10 after this plus will come so you have to do uh, basically add two operations so similarly 5 10 will remain here and you will add a new entry of 5 plus 10 which is 15 okay so this is the final list and after this you have to do the sum of this so 5 plus 10 plus 15 is 30 okay so let's take one more example so uh, for this you will see 5 will be inserted and after this minus 2 will also insert it then 4 will also insert it after this c will come so c stand for removing so we'll remove the last entry this is 4 okay now you may think like what what we will use here so as you can see we always see what is the last entry that is inserted so it's basically we we don't care about the starting element we always uh, want the last entry that is inserted all in our list so by this uh, thinking we can use some sort of uh, you can say we need a lifo structure basically whoever inserted last it's the first element that i always get it so we can use a stack in this case uh, so now as you can see c come so i need the last entry that is inserted so i will remove this 4 and this will become 5 minus 2 okay now d will come so i will basically 5 minus 2 will remain I, I again need the last entry so i will take this uh, this will be remain as it is i just do the double of this so i will add it here so this will become minus 4 after this what i have to do uh, 9 will come so i will insert it now plus will come so i need the last two entries so this and this so minus 4 plus 9 is 5 and I will insert it into the list so this become 5 after this we need to do again plus so we again do the plus of this so 9 plus 5 is 14 and we finally get the sum of this okay so this question looks like a pretty simple implementation question so we need a stack okay so let's take a stack of integer okay now what we, we will iterate over the a string array okay so if our string equals to c will do something else if s dot equals to d will do again do something else if s dot equals uh, plus will do something else what we will do we will just insert the value into so our value is you can say we will we need to cast it into integer because we had taken a stack of integer so integer dot parse int c we will just insert it into our stack 
okay we have done for this case let's do it for this if it is equal to c that means we just have to pop the element the latest one so we just do uh, pop the element okay now for d we need to double the element so what we will do we will take the temp and we will do uh, stack dot peak basically top element into two and we'll just push it into a stack okay now let's write for this plus case so what we need we need a top two element so this will be temp1 stack dot pop we'll remove it uh, we'll need the second one also dot pop okay we'll do the sum or uh, let's give it a sum plus equal to temp1 plus temp2 then what we will do we will just basically insert into a stack but before that we need to insert these also because we have popped it out so as you can see for this case when plus comes so they minus 4 and minus 9 sum is 5 but we have popped this 9 also we have popped so this is our temp1 then we pop this temp2 so first we need to insert temp2 then temp1 then it's sum so what we will do we will push back into stack again so temp1 temp sorry it will be temp2 first then temp1 and then it's sum okay uh, i think we have done with the updation of stack so let's take a sum variable to do the sum so let's give answer while our stack is not empty we'll do the sum so we'll do answer plus equal to stack dot pop okay let's return this answer let's run it let's see So this is accepted. Let's submit it. So our code is submitted. We can also do better here. Like instead of calculating the answer again by doing our iterating over a loop, what we can do is let's let's remove this. Okay. Let's write it out there. And we don't need this now. So what we will do, we will basically sum at this point. So whenever element is there, we will insert it. Okay. Again, uh, we need to add the sum also. So sum is the new variable. So we'll add it. And we will also add its double into our answer. And, and, and when we sub basically removing, so we need to remove it from answer also. So let's give a uh, remove element minus equal to rv okay so this solve the problem like we don't have to iterate it again so let's i think it will work so let's run it okay this is giving the correct output let's submit it again so our code is submitted uh, the time complexity for this is we are just iterating over once so it's a order of n size of basically the string length and similarly we are for the space we are taking extra space extra stack so that's also our order of n uh, hope you like it thank you for watching my video and do join the telegram group if you have any doubt and any concern thank you